Hey, what's up, peoples? I wanted to really quick talk about my camera equipment. I know you guys have been asking about it, so I wanted to kind of get into this kind of photography uh, style of video, I guess. So what I'm gonna do to do that is just start off by telling you guys all of my equipment and what I use it for. If you guys have any questions about what I have um, or why I use it that I don't explain, just let me know in the comments. So first, I'll just start with my GoPro. I have a GoPro Hero 3, and I'm holding it upside down. I used to love this thing, but I don't love it anymore. It's cool, but the camera footage that I get from this isn't as good as the other camera equipment that I have here. So it kind of stands out, and you can tell when I'm using the GoPro. You never want people to really like tell like what you're using. And because of the wide angle on this lens and the video quality isn't at, up to par with the other camera equipment that I have. Um, it kind of really stands out and it's like a sore thumb sometimes. So I, I like to use it, but when I use it, I just it kind of cringe a little bit. But I know some of the people watching it don't really care, so I use it anyway. Basically, I just stick this thing wherever I can. I put it on a stick, I put it on like whatever I can. And in the case, it has, it has worse quality to me. Um, and in low light, it has really bad quality never really want to use it in low light but holding it like this and recording like just with the lens out not in the case um good lighting like like right now it's really good it works really well but any other situation it's not really that good so i think i'm going to retire that um and probably use one of my old g7x's we have a couple of these cameras and these things are built like a tank i love the flip out screen the flip out screen is really solid and it's a really good vlogging camera i actually argue with my friend about the sony versus this one which one is better or the best vlogging camera i think this one it has more durability because if you think about what we do as vloggers we use these things way more than they think that people are going to be using them like using this daily like for hours out of the day it's not really built to take that much work because there's a lot of plastic pieces in here these things start to mess up a little bit the camera quality is really good it's probably one of my favorite cameras that we've ever had if you look at my other one this is the other g7x the this is stuck open um, it turns on fine, but this you have to kind of like push these back to make sure it's fully open or give like a vignette around the image. So a couple of little mechanical kinks to it. The next one is the Sony RX100 4 or M4. Basically this is um, our current like workhorse right now. It's a really nice camera. The video quality is to me better than the G7X, but they have a G7X 2 or Mark II. They just came out. And I've seen some footage for that and it's pretty nice. Um, I might check it out, but this one also has autofocus issues. I'm just gonna wait to see if you know the new one starts to have the same issues that this one has. Because I know a couple people who've been through a few of these, every last one of them has broken. But this one is pretty good. I love the, the quality of it. It's not built like the other one. It has like an I think this is like aluminum body. Um, it can take a couple, it can take a hit, like we we drop these things. Um, pretty often because I mean if you if you use something as much as we do uh, You will eventually drop it. Yeah, this one actually has some lens issues. So ah, Doesn't sound good at all But we have to like hold it down. It's it's kind of rinky-dink now, but it works It works, but this also has some mechanical issues in the lens. So um, And that could be due to dropping it. It could be due to just, you know, the camera manufacturer, but whatever. Also, well, let's talk about this camera first. This is the, the Canon 7D. Um, it has a 1.6 crop sensor, I believe. And I love this thing. I use this thing for photography. I use it for videography. I use it for like, you know, my own work on the side. Um, and I also use it for like filler shots for a vlog channel when I feel like being creative and adding little little footage to the vlog. This one is a lot more bulky, bulkier than the other two, but the quality of the footage, like you can really tell the difference. I would love to vlog with this thing, but it's just too big. My other camera that I use for photography is my film camera. Um, this is a uh, Olympus OM-10. I got this thing for like, almost I got it like for like 50 bucks on Amazon. It was refurbished. I'm shooting on a 50 millimeter here. I love this thing. It's very, it's very difficult to use, but um, basically it's just an old fashioned film camera. Um, and you load film in there, you have like 30 shots or something like that. And you just crank this little thing. And I'd like to take little pictures of the family. Um, 
around the house and stuff and outside while they're playing. Um, and I've also developed some of the film myself. And one day I'll probably have some pictures printed from this thing, but I love this thing because it helps you kind of like understand photography a little bit more. I like it, it makes you kind of think a little bit more, stop and think about what you're doing. So it really helps me kind of understand uh, lighting and uh, just photography in general. We have one more Sony that just broke and I'm thinking about getting this replaced. If you're vlogging or trying to vlog or eventually you're gonna try to start doing daily or something like that, you probably will go through a few cameras. They just shut down, they stop working. You have to send them back for repair, blah, blah, blah. That's just what happened. Um, and lastly, I just picked this thing up and I did an unboxing video for this. I was filming with this camera. The microphone wasn't on, so I will do an update video on this. I have, I have flown it now and I will do an update video on that. But I definitely want to use this for like filler shots, transition shots, and the video quality from that is amazing. 4K, everything just looks beautiful. I, I just love that thing so far. If you have any questions about any of my other cameras here, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.